Hey everyone! Today in Tokyo, Japan, we will be traveling back in time and visiting Kyoto no Mori, an open air museum in western Tokyo. Ooh, 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 
And the days are moving slower So on the weekends I escape Then on the surface it seems perfect Yeah, on the surface I'm replaced But I go too far in my house of cards Every morning it's the same Oh, look at that, they have an old mask Wow really pretty okay so one thing to note when coming to these open-air museums where they have actual buildings that you can step into is you're probably gonna have to take your shoes off and they give you slippers but just so you know you probably have to take your shoes off don't be surprised is this it? is also a place for um, workers to stay the night oh so I guess that's why they have a they used to work night shift they're open for 24 hours and yeah that's yeah. why they have a tatami room. That's right. what I was wondering. And look, they have a wardrobe over there as right. well. And they keep their futon in there. Oh, if you open it, a ghost pops out. Ooh. This is a little kitchen. Oh, it's a kitchen? Yeah. Just look at the scenery though outside. Babe, you can cook me something in here. This is a big kitchen. Yeah. Yummy. They cook some lemon. And tea, of course. Yeah. Hey. Or hot water, should I say? Gotta keep it up for love. Cause you're the reason for these pieces. Oh, now something's missing, love. You're the reason, you're the reason, oh, to keep it up for love. Cause you're the reason for these pieces. Maybe someday I'll give up. But I can't move on, you're never gone. Oh, so tiny. tiny, tiny mailbox. Oh, this is a post office. Wow. Oh, old really? post office of Fuchu. It was the former Yajima family house. Okay, so it was a family house. Mm -hmm. And the first post office in Fuchu. Oh, this is the first post office. Okay. Wow. I don't think we can go in this one. Yeah. But it's kind of cool to see. So they have an ironing board back there. Oh, they had a kid apparently. And that was his little desk to study. But just look at how pretty that window is. And you can see the hydrangeas outside. Ooh, without going in. Oh, how cool. So they would take mail at the counter. And then their kid would be doing bad things in the back. And they'd be like, Yamate! This is a park as well. And if it wasn't raining, we'd probably be doing more exploring in the park. Also, I think I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. So I'm not going to venture into the forest today. But just look how many hydrangea plants are. They're so pretty. If you were sitting here, this would be your view. Wow. So this is an old family house. And this green netting you see here is what I think if you're still in countryside, people still put up a net, don't they? I don't know. Even well, even my grandparents don't use it. They oh, live really? In the countryside. This is to prevent mosquitoes and other bugs to come in while you're sleeping. So usually there'll be like a futon inside, and people be sleeping, and parents put this over their kids. Okay, so that's it for Kyoto no Mori Open Air Museum. It was so fun. Where are you going, love? There's a there's a beer factory. <laughs> you found a beer factory. Oh yeah, Suntory. Oh. oh, next time. Next time, yeah. Let's go next time. Yeah. Okay, maybe next time we'll go to the beer factory. Also, we want to try the planetarium next time. Museums are always interesting and fun. I love museums, but when you can actually walk into a building and feel like you're traveling back into time, that's what's really awesome. These open air museums in Japan, they, there is a lot of that where you can actually walk into an old building that they preserve. They, preser they preserve the interior, the exterior, and just so fun. I, it's hard to describe. I hope my camera caught the beauty of it all. So if you guys live in Japan or are planning a trip to Japan, specifically Tokyo, then I do recommend this place. It's raining. It's hot. I'm humid. I'm not humid. <laughs> it's raining. It's hot. It's humid. My hair's a mess. It's time to go. I'll see you guys next week. And if you have any recommendations on where I should go next, please let me know in the comments down below. Bye! <laughs>